<laughs> lads and lassies, welcome back to the YouTube and welcome to like a video where I just kind of, I guess, I get some questions often by like kids who are like pushing themselves hard on whiteboards and uh, they just want to like progress to the next level and obviously they, like everyone you want to get like free stuff, you want to get sponsorship and so I thought I'd make a video to try and help people on how to get sponsored, how to do like brand endorsement deals and all that. First of all, a disclaimer, I'm by no means like a world expert on this. I just have experience in it. I've been getting like free whiteboards and free clothes for maybe like eight years now and then I've been getting paid to whiteboard since I was 17 and I'm 23 now. So that's like six years, a little less than six years. Anyway, I thought I'd put the video together. Hopefully it helps you like whether you're a kid, you're like 22, you're 38, you're 55. Hopefully it can help you kind of do a little deal and get some free stuff and maybe even in the future get paid and do it as a like professional. Okay, so first things first, myself personally I always think there's like three, kind of maybe four things that are very important and to kind of keep your focus on. And that is number one, communication. Number two is professionalism. Number three is persistence. And number four that I definitely think makes a huge difference is uniqueness. And that's kind of like, everyone always says, be unique, be yourself. But definitely they're like 100% right. Before I even get into them, I want to talk about like, often I think, myself included, we see getting sponsorship as us just getting loads of free stuff and like nothing in return. Like, I don't know, you, we often gloss over the fact that we are basically trying to increase sales for this company, this brand, this service, whatever it is, you want to increase their sales. So it's actually like a two-way street, and I think it's always important to remember that because sometimes we gloss over that and that's not good because the sponsorship won't last forever then. All right, let's talk about communication. So in my opinion, communication is 110% like the most important thing when you're dealing with sponsors because they want to know how you're growing their brand, how you're potentially increasing sales, and without you telling them, like these people you're dealing with, they're like marketing people, sales reps or whatever, and they've got a lot going on. So the last thing they want to do is have to chase you up to see what you're doing for them. So if you can give them everything that you've been up to and everything that you're doing for them on a silver platter, so they're far more likely then to keep you on as an athlete, or if you're trying to get sponsored by them, they're far more likely to take you on because you're making their life way easier for them when they go to their boss. So definitely 110% do that. But how is the question mark? The question, not the question mark. From a very young age, my mom worked in marketing and she forced me to do this. I hate giving her the credit for it because she was probably right. But basically what you want to do is, like for me anyway, what has worked for me is I do like a monthly report. At the end of every month, I send them an update with where I've been. So like a quick summary at the top, where I've been. Like last month I was in Australia, I was in New Zealand, I was in Thailand. So that kind of gives you a story of what you've been up to. Then you talk about like the exposure you've gotten. So you talk about video views, you talk about if you've gotten any magazines, you talk about anything like that that you potentially could have been. If you've been on a poster, wherever you've been, that's exposure. Then on top of that, you want to talk about social media, talk about your growth, your engagement, like all that stuff matters. So for sponsors, like numbers of engagement and how many people are following you, but also how many people are liking your posts and commenting, that's so valuable. But if you're not sending it to them, then they're not going to see it. So that's why you have to communicate with them. So, then that leads in to professionalism. And this is, I think, probably the most misconspire, I don't know the word, but basically people don't really understand that if you're getting free stuff, or more importantly, if you're getting paid by a brand to represent them, you are then a professional athlete. If you're like a professional media blogger, that's your job, you are a professional. It's like being an accountant or a lawyer, except way more legit. So you need to act professionally. You can't like ignore an email for four days because you're watching Netflix. It's not how it works. So you need to be on the ball all the time. That's going to set you apart because the truth is most people in the industry of like, I don't know, like in skateboarding and BMXing and all that, but in weightboarding where I'm from, people are lazy. So if you are better than them, you're going to set yourself apart with sponsors and they're, they're literally just going to love you. They're going to be like, that guy, that girl is so on top of things that like, it's 100% let's, let's go forward with her or him because they're doing so much more than the guy who won't reply. Even if he's landing better tricks, even if he's doing more on social media, if he's not replying to me and my emails, then I'm not going to give him like an extra 500 million grand a month. Yeah. 
that is professionalism but really seriously if you want to do this seriously it's not easy like you have to be so professional so diligent work hard and then it will actually happen but professionalism is massive okay so then we talk about persistence and persistence is very important in particular for anyone who's trying to get sponsored not so much so for people who are already sponsored with persistence to getting you sponsored I'd say every company I'm sponsored by there was like a year of talking beforehand and basically what happens is they don't know you they don't know anything about you and they probably get like a hundred emails a day or not a hundred emails a day it's probably exaggeration but they probably genuinely do get over a hundred emails a month saying hey man can I get sponsored and all this but if you're persistent, if you and I don't mean annoying them, just saying, hey, sponsor me. If you're persistent in giving them information about how you're performing, how you're you're actually growing your own brand and growing yourself, then that's gonna like eventually that's gonna hit home with them. And when they're talking about bringing on a new athlete the next year, they'll be like, oh, that girl's unreal, or that lad's like so good. Let's take him on. He's always sending us like good, up to date, informative information. All information should be informative. So I think persistence, and it's happened for me, I swear on my life, like, I can't explain how just sending an email like every single month to a company, letting them know what I'm up to, has actually then eventually turned around in my favour. Like literally, like three or four years, some of them. So definitely, 100% persistence. All right, then we move on to uniqueness. And uniqueness is like the most kind of blasé, kind of just like vague thing ever but effectively uniqueness is being yourself being your own being different to everyone else what i'm saying is you want to do your own thing so if everyone okay this works both if you're wakeboarding or skateboarding within your own riding if you're going massive like way bigger than everyone else or you're way more tech than everyone else then that's your uniqueness i wonder if then when it comes to growing your brand on social media, if everyone's posting on Instagram, they're posting like these sick photos, then you want to have something different that that other guy, that other girl doesn't have, like putting up Insta videos or something like that. Like obviously everyone does Insta videos, but you know what I mean? You need to like, your quality needs to be insane or like the quality of the content, maybe not unbelievably edited, but the actual like the tricks or whatever it is needs to be unique and then you will get people's eyes and they'll be like, that's sick because then you grow your own brand and when you're growing your own brand, you're gonna get more sponsors, it's just the way it works. So basically, I've realized as I've got to the end of this video, I don't actually say how to get sponsored, I just kind of say ways to keep sponsors and stuff. But basically, if you wanna get sponsored in skateboarding, wakeboarding, BMX, even if you just do vlogs and you wanna get like brand endorsement deals, so pick a company you like, even if it's like Jaguar Cars or something like that, and send them, okay, Jaguar Cars probably won't work, if it does, let me know how you did it because I really wanna get a free one. Let's pick a more realistic company like, um, 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 let's pick Van Shoes because I have no association with them. Okay, so let's say you want to get sponsored by Van Shoes. Find out who the team manager is. Find out that. You can find that out on LinkedIn. You can find that out online. It's super easy. If you can't figure it out, then you're just going to fail anyway. So figure out who the team manager is. Get their email and send them an email introducing yourself with all your, like, kind of your CV, what you've been up to, everything like that. Then after that, you want to be persistent, you want to communicate with them, you want to send them every single month on the 1st or the 31st or whatever you do, just be consistent with it. Send them a message or an email with your what you've been up to that month, or like the, if you won any contest, if you entered any contest, it really doesn't matter how good you actually are, it's kind of how much results you're getting. Then eventually, I promise you, it might take one year, it could take two years, it could even take three years. They will eventually, when they're looking for that new rider or that new athlete or that new endorsement person, brand ambassador it's called, they will be like, oh, she's sick or oh, he's sick. And uh, yeah, you'll get it, I promise you. But you need to be professional. You need to act as if they're already paying you. That's basically what you need to do without actually advertising all their stuff. Maybe a few bits and bobs here and there. Anyway, I hope this video helps you because I wish someone had showed it to me. Thankfully, my parents are quite good at this. My mom has a background in marketing, so I was quite lucky. But yeah, I'm also a disclaimer, I am not the master at this. I just have experience in it. And I get this question a lot on like my Facebook and on Snapchat loads. So yeah, definitely 100%, give it a go. I mean, I promise you it will pay off eventually. If you're, if you're working hard, you're producing the goods within your sport, and then you're also working hard on your brand, the sponsors will come naturally. I wouldn't stress about it. It's not the end all and be all or be all and end all. It's just like something cool. And if you can start getting like free stuff, then that is sick. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bit of a different video today than like a travel video or like a weight video. 
but I'm just at home. It's pretty crap weather outside, as you'll see in tomorrow's video. So uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Also, one last thing that I never mentioned, because I kind of took it for granted, but basically, be a nice person as well. Like, if you're at the cable and you see some kids struggling, like, help them out, talk to people, be friendly. Like, I guess if you don't have those attributes, then it's going to be hard. So, work on that, and I promise you, that'll help. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys.